We know farming has always been Iowa's backbone, but the way it's done has evolved over time. Local 5's Connor O'Neill takes us out to Panora, where a family farm is using a unique system to further innovate in the state. This aquaponics greenhouse we're in right now started as just an idea years ago for early morning harvest, but now they're growing crops like geraniums, strawberries, even rosemary, and it's all part of a bigger growing experiment. Everything comes from aquaponic, uh, the aquaponic water. This compact greenhouse in Panora, Iowa is unique to say the least. Each one of these tanks can hold 100. A greenhouse full of noise with 7,500 gallons of water flowing through four tanks of swimming tilapia fish. I can feel them in there. But don't let this process sway you. These fish are super important at Early Morning Harvest's aquaponic greenhouse farm. So the fish uh, replace the fertilizer. So the wastewater from the fish uh, flows through the plants, providing nutrients for the plants to grow. In the same breath, uh, those uh, plants then clean the water for the fish. A closed system which takes pristine farming technique. You have to be really careful with herbicides and pesticides because of that closed, enclosed system. Fruits and vegetables grow all year round inside the warm greenhouse. There's tomatoes, there's lettuce, uh, three types of kale, Swiss chard, and even flowers. Sturstrom's a popular one. That are edible, yes. Oh, you can eat. And once it's time to harvest, the farm provides their crops grown aquaponically to the Iowa Food Co-op in Des Moines and to places around Panora. We work with a couple of chefs. Uh, uh, there's the Perry Hy-Vee also and the Earlham Hometown Market. No matter where the crops are going, the farm to table process in Iowa continues to evolve. In Panora, Connor O'Neill, Local 5 News. Early morning harvest also farms crops outdoors and grow rye, corn, and wheat inside their stone mill, which requires labor nearly all by hand.